At six o'clock, with the vaccination rates rising, more people feel comfortable taking trips. Many plan to hit the road this summer, but with some travel restrictions still in place, where can Oregonians go safely for some rest and relaxation? That is the topic of this week's Willamette Week cover story. And joining us to talk about it is their assistant arts and culture editor, Andy Pruitt. Andy, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. You specifically looked into some 36 hour getaways people can take around the state. What about folks that want to head out to the coast? What'd you find there? Yeah, so we went out to Astoria for uh, this story this year. And if you're looking for a place to stay that's not your average hotel, well, you can rent a room right next to a historic Fisher's bar in Uniontown, which is a section of Astoria that has a lot of historical significance. It was founded by its large Finnish population. So Workers Tavern, uh, if you've ever been, it's a great locals bar with a lot of color. They have a Christmas tree hanging upside down from the ceiling and they do meet bingo on Sundays. So you're gonna meet a lot of very interesting folks there when you're having a drink. And at the end of the night, uh, after you've had maybe a couple more than uh, you're used to because you're partying, you're on vacation, you can just stumble right next door to a room there. They have a, uh, a, a little um, suite and it has boats that are sh or beds that are shaped like boats that you can sleep in. So that's just one thing that we saw in Astoria. Uh, one of my favorite new things that we did there was a tour of the waterfront by tugboat. So this tug uh, was in service for 50 years. It ferried bar pilots as they transferred onto those ships to help get them in and out of to sea. Well, it went into retirement and Captain Mike, he decided to buy this boat and he refurbished it. It looks amazing now. And you can take a three hour tour and learn about the entire history of the historic waterfront, everything that ever happened in Astoria. I'm looking for a good relaxing weekend. Andy, where do I go? I would point you to Lake Simtustis Resort. This is really a hidden gem. It is not far from the really popular Lake Billy Chinook. Everyone's been there if you're a longtime Oregonian. This is not far. It is just south of uh, Warm Springs, right above Madras. And they started installing tiny homes in what used to be an RV only campsite around this lake about two years ago. These tiny homes, they're actually really luxe. They have king beds, they have every amenity that you would possibly want or need. They also have hot tubs on the deck. So it's one of the greatest places in Central Oregon to watch the stars because you are 10 miles from any light pollution uh, from the closest city. I'm gonna get on there. I'm gonna, I'm going. I'm telling you right now, that sounds really you good. You should. <laughs> Go this weekend. Andy, always great to see you. Thank you very much. Good and to you, see you. You can read the entire article in the latest edition of Willamette Week on newsstands now or online at wweek.com.